It says that it is a. It says that it is a. It says that. Hello, everybody. It's your girl Jay, and today I am here with my May TBR for 2023. I did not film a April TBR because I just never got around to it. So. If you noticed that, no you didn't. It's fine. Also, ignore my very interesting makeup right now. I just did a photo shoot for Nerds, the um, new gummy clusters. So I'll insert um, what those product pictures turned out to look like, but I think that they're kind of cute, so I'm not mad about it. But I didn't want to wash it off my face, so ignore it. But also, try these because they're delicious. If you are new to this channel, you don't know this, but my mom always picks my TBR and she always has a fun little theme to go along with why she chose the books. This month's theme has to do with my full-time job. I am a supervisor at a before and after school program. So she chose books that the titles relate to the different children in my program and like their personalities and stuff. So I actually think this is a really funny topic. None of you will think it is because you don't know the kids in my program, but I had a good laugh, so did she. So without further ado, let us get started. So the first book that she chose is The Escape Room by Megan Golden. This is because I have one child who is a runner, so he will constantly just run out of the room like a little escape artist. I love him, but he definitely does give me a workout. So this is actually Megan Golden's debut novel, which I did not know, but it follows four young Wall Street up-and-comers. They discover the price of ambition when an escape room challenge turns into a a deadly game of revenge. So this sounds right up my alley. I'm definitely intrigued to pick this up and I believe that it is also on audio so I should actually be able to do it this month. The next book that she chose is Rebel of the Stands by Alan Hamilton and this one is because I have a few little rebels in my program who will do literally the opposite of everything that you tell them to do because they think it's hilarious. Which, do I think it's funny? No but they do it anyways, so they're my little rebels. This one was a booktube darling when it first came out so many years ago, and I have had it on my shelf since that release, and I have just never read it. I have not heard anybody talk about it in years. It says that it is an epic story of swirling desert sands, love, magic, and revolution, and that it's vivid, romantic, and widely entertaining. Again, I have heard nobody talk about it since its release, but it was very hyped in those years, so we'll see what I think of it. Next, she chose Akita Warrior. This is by Nendi Oko Rafor. I'm not sure what this series is called, but I do know that the first book was Akita Witch, so this is the second book in that series. I read Akita Witch and I think I gave it like a 3 out of 5 stars, maybe a 3.5. But she chose this one because I have little warriors in my program who are always ready to throw hands at each other. No matter what the littlest tiny argument is, they will throw hands. So it is keeping eyes on my little warriors so that they don't beat each other up. But yeah, like I said, I read the first book, had the second book, never really picked it up after the first book, but maybe this is the month that it's gonna happen. Next up, she chose Son of a Trickster by Eden Robinson, and this one is because I have little tricksters in my program. They are essentially the same children as my little warriors. They love to play tricks on me and everybody in the program, which always leads to throwing hands. So it's a full circle moment right now. I don't know too much about this. It has been on my shelf for a very long time, but I do know that it follows a 16 year old boy who I believe discovers that he has magical powers. And I do believe that he is able to talk to ravens. So anytime there are animals that can talk, you know I'm gonna pick up the book. So hopefully that happens this month. Next up, she chose The Girls in the Garden by Lisa Jewell, and this is because it is now spring, so we are spending a lot of time outside during my program, and they really love digging in the dirt, and they get very messy and dirty, and the parents always get upset with me because their child is coming home messy, but you know what? They had fun, so they're gonna keep digging in the garden, okay? I'm sorry. But this is another one on my TBR a thousand times. I believe that this is like a murder mystery kind of idea where the community all plays in this one garden and I believe they're having like a block party and a little girl ends up dying in this community garden and nobody really knows what happened to her so they're trying to figure out, you know, why she died. Or maybe she just gets hurt. I don't remember, but something happens. I think she might just go unconscious. So unconscious mystery, okay? I don't know. Next up, she chose Always Watching by Chevy Stevens. This is because I have a couple of kids in my program who will literally just sit on the sidelines and watch the other kids, and they won't say 
anything, they just watch the other kids. I love those children. This follows a doctor who works at a psychiatric ward in the hospital and she loves helping her patients but she also has some little secrets of her own that she doesn't want to look too closely at. The tagline is she helps people put their demons to rest but she has a few of her own. Sometimes you can leave the past but you can never escape. I think it sounds really good. I really loved Chevy Stevens Never Let me go or never let you go, something like that. So I do want to pick up another one of her books. I have the majority of them, I just haven't picked any up other than that one. So now's the time. And then the final book that she chose I think is hilarious. She chose The Perfect Child by Lucinda Berry because this is the dream. I wish that I had perfect children in my program who just listened to everything I said and didn't scream 24-7, but you know what? I love my kiddos, so it's fine. And I think it's hilarious because this story is about the perfect child who ends up being like a psychopath. So I love it. I love the parallels. Alright everybody, so those are the books that my mom chose for my May TBR for 2023. I honestly don't know if I will even get to any of these because I have so many e-arcs that I got from Penguin that I need to get through this month. So maybe I'll read one or two of these, we'll see, but let me know down below if you have read any of these and what you thought of them, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!